I am Flash Isaac. I recently introduced set where I defined sets and I gave example of set. So I gave a lot of basics, things you need to understand so long set is concerned. So you may want to check out the video. The link is below. Now I'll be taking you through terms in set. While dealing with set in mathematics, there are terms you must know. These terms will help you solve questions. Okay. Uh, let me start with elements of a set. Elements are members of set. Now, this is a set. So, this is A. And A is a set of numbers from 1 to 5. So, a set of numbers from 1 to 5, whole numbers from 1 to 5 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, this is the set. The, this, each number are elements of the set or members of the set. So element means members. So one is a member, two is a member, three is a member. If I say a set of five best friends, or I give five best friends, let's say F is a set of friends, uh, John, Luke, Joy, Isaac, Flash. So this set of persons, each element here are members of the set. So the John is a member, Luke is a member. So elements are members of a set, all the things that are contained in a set. These are elements of a set. So we've explained elements. Now let's look at universal set. So let's say we have 50 boys in the class, 50 let's see uh, 50 boys boys in a class and 10 girls so this is an element a member of the class this is an element a member of the class but the universal set is total number of people in the class so class the class contains boys and girls that means the universal uh, set should be equals 60 or uh, total number of people in the class. So this is the universal set, this is the universal set, this is the universal set. So it encompasses all the set. So that's universal set. Then we have subset. Now, we, like I said, this is a universal set, the total number of uh, students in the class. Now, boys, 50 boys, they are subset of the uh, students. Guys, 10 guys, they are subset of the total students. So subsets are under universal sets. Let me give another example. If I say A is equals set of even numbers, and I say B is two, four, six, and C is equals Two, three, four, six. Now look at set B. Set A is set of even numbers or set of all even numbers. So all even numbers you can think for think of. Now set B is a set of two, four, six, eight. Now two is an even number, four is an even number, six is an even number. So that means Every element in B is also contained in A. You get that? So this implies that uh, B is a subset of A. So B is under A. Now look at something else. If you see this C, 2, 3, 4, 6. And look at B, 2, 4, 6. Everything in this B is inside C and more. So that means C contains everything in B. So C is... B, B is a subset of C, small c. So that's what the uh, subset speaks about. So I've explained the uh, uh, subsets. Now look at the union of a set. Union of a set is adding uh, elements of two sets together without repeating any number. Now look at this. Look at this set. And look at this set. So if I say 
B union C is represented with this U. B union C is equals this. So you arrange this set in ascending you know order. Between this and this, which one comes first? Two. There is two. So you take only one, two. Two, comma, what is next? Three. Three. After three, what again? Four. So you pick four. You pick only one. After that, six. So from that, you can see that union means a uh, merging two sets and ar ar arranging the numbers or values in ascending orders without repeating any of them. So similarly, if I say set A is equals John uh, Root and Zook and set B is Apple Bread Cook. So the A union B, the union is simply bringing out the number. So it will be apple, let's say apple, bread, coke, john, root, zook, in full form. So this is the union, merging two sets, rearranging them together. That's the union of a set. Empty set is a set that doesn't have number. So for example, if I say set of people that will not die. So let's... Uh, Y be set of persons that will not die. So now what will be Y? Set of persons will not die. Y, capital letter, Y is simply empty or so that's how you represent empty set. So empty set are sets that don't have number, that have members, no elements, because everybody will die. Another example of empty set is set of primary five students who are professors so there's no primary five student who is a professor so the set is empty so that's what empty set represents and we have a okay look at finite set finite set are simply uh, countable sets they are countable if i say uh, uh the set of students uh, 50 students in a class so they are countable or if I say a uh, set of numbers lesser than 100, they are countable. So they are values we can count. We use them as what? Set. But in finance, set, they are uncountable sets. For example, if I say the set of counting numbers, you will write and write and write so to infinity. So you present them with dot, 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 meaning to be continued. So that's infinite set. There are single tune set. Singleton set is a set that contains only one member. For example, if I say A is equals 2, 2. See, so it's just one member. Or S is equals the first alphabet in, in, uh, in English. It's A. So it contains just one member. That's what it represents, or that's what we mean by. Uh, single to set uh, look at something that's uh, power of a set power of a set is represented by small s small s so if I say uh, what is power of this set this okay this set the power is simply 2 raised to the power of s where s is the number of elements in the set so this is 1 2 3 4 this set contains 4 elements or 4 members so the power will be 2 raised to the power of 4. This set B contains 3 members, 1, 2, 3. So the power is simply 2 S or 2 raised to the power of 3. So that's what power of sets represents. And next, let's look at uh, equal and equivalent sets. Equal sets is sets that contains the same elements. Okay, let's say if set A is equals A, B, C, D, and set B is equals A, D, C, B, A, C. Now, look at this. 
this has A, this has A, this has B, this has B, this has C, this has C. So forget the fact that C appears three times, it does two times, that's not a problem. This has D, it has D. So, so long the members here are also the numbers here, irrespective of how many times they appear. So these sets are equal, so they contain the same elements. So if this one has, if A is equal set of 2, 3, 4, and set B is equal 2, 4, 3, 2, so whether these two comes two times is not a problem. They contain the same element. There is nothing here that is not here. Two is here, two is here, three is here, three is here, four is here, four is here. So that set is equal. However, equivalent sets are sets that have the same element, the same number of elements. So if set A is equals A, B, C, D, and set B is 1, 2, 3, 4. Set A and set B are equivalent. So equivalent simply means they have the same number of elements. Take note, not the same, but the same number. Look at it. A has 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 elements. B has 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 elements. So they are equivalent. So, so now the number of elements are the same. So if C is equals apple, ball, steel, fish. This is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this and this are equivalent. They contain the same number of elements. So that's equal and what? Equivalent set. So I've explained equal set. I've explained equivalent set. Okay, uh, let's look at intersection of sets. Intersection of sets. Intersection of sets is simply what the sets have in common. And it is presented with N. Intersection. N. Union is U. So look at this set. If you say... Okay, let me bring out set B here. So if I say B is equals A, F, G, H. Now, A intersection B is simply what we have in A and also have in set B. So the value or the element that they have in common, that's what intersection is about. So look at this set. Set A, we have A and we have A in set B also. So you put A down. We have B in set A, no B here. We have F, no F. So looking at this, the only thing they have in common is A. So A intersection B is A. So that's what they have in common. So if they are numbers, let's say F is equals So F intersection G is simply 1, 2. So that's what they have in common. So that is the meaning of intersection of sets. Hope is clear. These joint sets are sets that don't have elements in common. So if I give you this set and this set, they don't have any elements in common. So this and this, they don't have anything in common. So they are simply disjoint set sets that don't have any elements in common why uh, no disjoint set they have one or two elements in common so for example this is not disjoint this one they have one it has one element in common so it is no disjoint the wide range of sets for example you can have uh, let's say set a is equals s so if you are giving in this form this is that s is greater than five and less than ten in that case, the set is now 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is the set when you expand it. That's what we call range of set. Then different set is when you subtract set, subtracting set B from set A. That's different set. Intersection of set is, okay, complement is 
uh, what is not what the element that is not contained in the set a union is this they have what they have in common but uh, a complement is what is not present in the set what is present in one set that is not present in the other set so you can call it complement or prime so these are the uh, 17 terms in sets so i hope you understand all of them if you have any issue or questions simply comment below thanks for watching and don't forget to check out my other mathematics videos and more set videos set laws and calculations on that set thank you subscribe to this channel